Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to today's Bitcoin Breakdown. I'm your host, Dave Rodriguez, the lead trader here at the Cryptocurrency Alliance. I want to thank you for showing up today. I know it's been a while since we've been on, but we had some issues. We're working out. We're taking care of some other things here inside of the Alliance that are important to our paid members. But we are back. We're up on our account. We're up on our live trading account. We're up about 800 bucks. The Coinigy tracking is messed up for some reason. It only says we're up 2,800, but we have 3,800 in this account. So we're working on trying to get that fixed. Uh, but you guys will see what's going on soon. So on today's Bitcoin breakdown, we're going to go over what happened over the weekend, guys. We saw a lot of up and down. We saw a lot of runs that got failed around that 6,600 region. Bitcoin will not let the, 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 the bulls will not get past 6,600 for some reason. And the bears will just not let them pass this area. We're starting to see some sort of a wedge. I mean, it looks kind of like a wedge is forming. You know, some might call it a flag, and everybody's got their own name for shit. So we've got stuff here, guys, that could mean, you know, this is showing signs of, if it hits this area again, I remember on the last video, guys, we drew this area here. We thought Bitcoin could bounce up to 6,800 at least. It still has not hit 6,800, okay? I said it could go as high as 7,200, even 7,000. I had a lot of reasons for that, guys, but 6,800 is my first area. It's still my area uh, of concern. I want to see this jump up and tap this and completely fail. If it does, I want to see downside for a final tap of that 5,700 region. This could take weeks. It could take months. It could happen in days. You've seen it happen, guys. It could happen again. I want to see 6,800 touched. Now, the reason I've, I've created so many entries over the couple that last couple days and, I, and I've won some trades, I won a really big trade. It was uh, PRO. It was pro. I entered last, uh, last Wednesday. Um, we saw 89% today. I got out around 75%. Um, that was on Bitrix. I've transferred some of those winnings back to this site. And um, that was another great trade I took that helped me out to get my winnings over the, week over, over the weekend. Um, so we took a lot of other trades. As you can see, we've taken GNT, Kyber Network, Waves, uh, Stellar Lumens, and we've taken Ripple. And now we've taken Lisk, which should show up on this very soon. You see what I'm saying, guys? Something's wrong. Uh, uh, I, I, I've just, um, oh, see, here it is. Okay, so we've taken Lisk as well, which I will show you guys the live entry on the next part of this show. But back to the chart, what I'd like to see is a pop to 61.8, um, the 6,800 area, the 61.8 fib. I'd like to see a pop up there. I'd like to see a you know, a nice rejection, maybe a spike through, come back down, and then a fall. Still, I'm still looking for that 5,700. There's a lot of indicators on the larger charts that are pushing me to think 5,800 needs to be, uh, 57, 5,800 need to be met and need to be consolidated or maybe even broken. Um, but I want to see the downside play take place. I don't see very much upside um, in play. I won't be taking these longs. Um, I did take a long over the weekend right in here. Uh, excuse me, right in here. Um, uh, early last week into the weekend, and then um, uh, we got out of that um, on BitMEX, though. We will be showing you guys some BitMEX trades soon, but like I said, we're not going to keep using the coin because I'm going to be jumping back and forth to exchanges like BitMEX, like maybe Bitrix, um, but we want to show you guys what's going on. We want to keep track of some of, the, some of the money. So as you guys can see here on Binance, on Binance, I have a balance of $3,800. So we started with $3,000. We're up $878 on this account, and we started it last week uh, sometime. I don't know the exact date. We'll get that for you guys. But things to watch out for, guys. A spike to the upside, you know, maybe some rejection. If it does happen to spike up and above $6,600 and reach up and above $6,700, $6,800, we are going to see some more bullish upside, 72 maybe, um, to get to the 200 MA on the four hour. So guys, look out for a spike to the upside. Those of you who are BitMEX traders, you could make some money in here. The entry is probably gone already. Um, you know, I would, I would, you know, right here, you know, when this closes, if it can close above this MA here, I mean, we guys can see some serious upside for a BitMEX trade. Don't over leverage your account, guys. Never over leverage. Never get greedy. Be thankful for the short gains that you get. When you guys see these gains I'm going to get and how I take them, you'll be very surprised on how quickly I can get out of them. So if you go back and see a lot of these other trades that I'm going to take live on the next part of this video, you will see what we do with the trade and how quickly we get in and out and make money. So 
We're going to show you guys what's going on um, on these trades uh, daily if we take them. Not every day is trading day. But the best part, guys, is the community. The community that we're putting together is, is for all you traders. Those of you who are new are going to find extreme value on seeing why we take trades and how far down the list we're looking for trades and we're scouring the market. It's going to give you guys some insight on what you need to do. Those of you who are expert traders or, you know, intermediate traders, you know, you've been trading for a while, you got some experience, you're going to want to help scouring the market as well. One pair of eyes can't look at the whole market. Our team is looking at every pair up and down the market to see what kind of volume and what kind of, um, you know, rejections off certain areas that we can find. And you're going to find value in using us as a resource for research for finding tokens and coins for you to look at and then do your own research on and possibly take entry. So there's a lot of free value inside and we're really excited about that. You know, for those of you who stay to the end of this video, I want to give you guys some insight. There's going to be some free information. There's going to be some free, a free ebook and a free training class. For those of you who stay all the way to the end, we're going to give the information out on how to access that stuff. So like I said, guys, this is really exciting for us. We're getting ready to take a live trade that we've been looking at all weekend, and we're getting ready to give away some more information on some trades that are on some different exchanges. So stay tuned to the next part. We're going to take some live trades. Here we go. All right, everybody. Now for the exciting part of the video, we are going to take a trade, um, and it's convenient because I'm, I'm right in the area of where I want to take this trade. As you guys can see, Lisk has had a nice uprun over the last month and has held nice in a nice consolidation range in between these areas. Uh, as you can see, price is getting squeezed, and we should see this pop out of the top. And remember, guys, I get in, I get out. This will be, if I take this entry, this area right in here will be my take profit, and this area right in here will be my stop loss. Something like this. If I break down into these areas, I'm probably going to get out. So I got about a 10%. I don't know exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it up in a minute, but I'm gonna have about a 10% stop loss and about a 20% gain. So that's like a two for one, guys. You want a, a risk for reward per, uh, risk reward ratio. I got a two percent or a um, two to one risk reward, which means I can gain 20% and lose 10%. So this is what I'm going to do with this trade, guys. We're going to run over here. Uh, we're having an issue. So we're not going to be doing uh, the live thing as far as um, showing you guys this part of it here, the balances, because it's not right. Uh, over here, we have $3,800 in the account. I've made $800 so far on this account um, in the last week since we've talked last. And for some reason here, it's only showing $2,800. So I got to get this all fixed, guys. We're not going to do too much of the live stuff, but we are going to go over the trades that we're taking, and then you guys can jump in as you see fit. Some of the trades we're talking about may not do the things we want them to do, so we might not take them. So these aren't signals, guys. We're not trying to provide signals. We're trying to give you guys insight on what coins and, and tokens that we're looking at, which ones we're exploring, and what kind of entries we're looking at taking and why. So it's your job to take the entry. It's your job to make um, decide whether you even want to get in or not. But it's our, uh, you know, uh, what we're trying to do um, and, and to benefit you guys, our job here is just to do what we do every day. Look for trades, you know, as deep as two, three hundred on the list of, of tokens and coins and find out which books, which order books are, are lopsided. You know, which uh, a lot of the times that's what we look for. We look for the lopsided order books, you know, two times the buying volume as the selling volume. That's usually a good sign of a pop in the market. OK, this is a nice uprun with a nice um, you know, flag or pennant, or there could be a many different, many different things drawn out here. This could come down and tap again, but what we're looking for is an entry right here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take it right now. We're not going to show the amounts. We're going to block all that stuff out, uh, but I'll show you guys taking this entry here. Here we are. We're in LISK, LSK. So for now, we're going to be look, looking over here. This is where we want to get in at. I'm going to go ahead and get in. I'm going to buy right now. There we go, guys. And we purchased Lisk. There's another one we're looking for, guys, as well. Another token that uh, we think you guys would be interested in. But the only problem is it's on Bitrix. And we set this up so we can just do um, tracking on Binance because it's been the easier... And, you know, a lot of the volumes here, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the big traders stay here. They, they try to, you know, 
get as much as they can done on one exchange. But there's so many exchanges with so many different coins. I want to mention Sidecoin, guys. Sidecoin has done some fest, done some special things, bounced off some special areas, and you guys should look for this as a swing trade, a long term trade. Nothing short. Um, nothing short, guys. You know, this could be a week, a month, something like that. You know, uh, there's a lot of good news coming out, a lot of good fundamentals coming out for Sidecoin. So look out for Sidecoin. Bitrix is a place to change it. That's where all the volume is. That's where the action is happening. We got a lot of information on that exchange. I'm already in a position. Um, you guys should be too, but do your own research. Find out why uh, you think it's a good trade. Make sure it follows your rules. And we'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode of this live trading here. So guys, remember, this is not a signal. This is for you guys to do in, uh, information. This is for you guys to look for information. This is for you guys to do your own research. So guys, when we when we call these out, some were taken immediately, like the one we just took. Now some we'll look for at the rest. Of, we'll look at for the rest of the day and see what you got. See what we think about it and see what you guys think about it as well. You remember to trust those trades until they fail, you guys. Hey guys, welcome back. That's all we have for you today. We want to thank you from the Cryptocurrency Alliance for showing up again. Uh, as we mentioned before, guys, we do have some free gifts. In the description below, there's going to be a link. Um, it is BitcoinConsumerGuide.com. Again, that is BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT. So BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT. That's like YouTube. You're going to get a free ebook, guys. It tells you everything you need to know about the cryptocurrency um, industry. It helps you a lot to get started, and it gives you some insight um, some more information for those of you who have already been in the industry. There's also a training series for you guys to take advantage of. So make sure you look at that. Make sure you go through it. Even if you're experienced, guys, there's some information in there that you will find very, very useful. So, um, like I said, on the tapes today, on the videos today, we've taken a couple live trades. Let's see how Lisk performs. Let's see how Kyber Network performs. Let's see how Ripple performs, XLM performs, Waves and those are the trades that we have in right now. We're not holding these long term. These are all short term trades. So follow us every day, guys. We're going to be showing you the, the, the you know, pulling back the curtains, what's in our head, letting you guys know what's on our brain every day. So click the like button below if you found some really good value in the video. Um, those of you who are not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe. And everybody, please put some comments down there. Let us know what cryptos are you looking for. What cryptos do you want us to look for? Um, is there any questions you guys have that we can go over in one of our um, live free YouTube videos? You guys let us know what you think. That's all we have for you today. I'm your crypto coach, Dave. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next Bitcoin breakdown. Now get out of here.